Hi, hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel Axel Bus Software Testing where you will learn in easy simple way. So today we are into Zephyr series and this is our fourth part of Zephyr. In this part we are going to see how to plan to execute your test classes. So let's see. In previous parts we saw how to write the test cases by simple way and by BDD framework. And to, in today's part, we are going to see how to create the test cycle, how to add test cases in your test cycles and so on. And in next parts, we'll be seeing how to execute and report in Zephyr. So let's get started. So see, this is our Jira board and now we are going to see how to plan your test cycles. So let's start it. Let let's move to zephyr squad here this full section we have covered how to design your test cases now let's go to cycle summary if you go to cycle summary some text like screen like this will get open so you create your new test cycle so if you have already assigned if you have already entered any version then the, this drop down will show you that otherwise it will be unscheduled so you can give any name even i'm going to say description build environment you can fill it this and then save so this cycle is being created so see here v1 test cycle has been created now and because what is the use of these test cycles Basically, these test cycles are in Zephyr are the way to organize and manage your testing of, of software applications of the system. It gives you structured approach and in Zephyr test cycles are used to group related test cases together, making it easier to plan, execute and track the result of your testing efforts. You can create the test cycles for specific features, release or uh, milestones and assign tests to specific test cycles as needed. By using test cycles in Zephyr, you can ensure that your software is thoroughly tested and that, and that all critical issues are identified and resolved before the release. This helps to improve the overall quality and reliability of your software and reduce the risk of production failures and cost downtime. So see here V1 is our unscheduled test cycle and this is these are the de details of V1 if we have uh, if you enter build number or environment that will reflect here. So if you go to here then you can add the test you can add new folders you can add test directly into your test cycle or otherwise you can add folder on and you can give name there as regression or um, or version sub versions you can give whatever is your project requirement those name you can mention here so i'm giving currently i'm giving regression so whatever regression test cases are there which i want to execute in this test cycle those i'll keep inside this my regression test suit so he, this is my regression uh, folder then you can add test or you can edit you can move clone if you want same test cases in different versions then you can directly clone this soft uh, clone this folder into another uh, your uh, test cycle or you can download the feature file etc there are so many features so let's see how to add the test case so this add test case folder via search filter in this search filter if you gave any labels or if you have any criteria then you can add it here and then with the help of that criteria you can search your test cases and you can add 
or if you want from another cycle then you can import to this individually you can add these are my few test cases i'll add few retrieve the data let's see i'm adding it sample test case i'm adding here so see here my 84 retrieve the data test cases has been added to regression folder like this you can add your test cycle uh, test cases in your test cycles so uh, see if you want to clone we'll just change the version v2 build the number 002 from if you from date like if you have anything save so see here v2 version is created with the same regression folder and test case also will be the same if you click here the regression folder same test case has been copied cloned so if you see v1 is your test cycle but what is ad hoc then ad hoc means it is usually performed without a formal plan or structure and can be done by any member of the testing team in this test cycles your members will be assigned for which member which test cycle you can assign basically for which member you can assign which cycle uh, test or for which member which test has to perform but this ad hoc is anybody can perform and then uh, the goal of this ad hoc testing is so quickly and identify and address the potential issues of the software before they come to critical platform or they before they come to the uh, your production environment so so same procedure will be there you can add the test here or you can export test here but uh, the only difference is test cycle will be your these folders and ad hoc will be or is directly dump the test cases here in this folder and directly execute the test cases without any version without anything so these are basic two different few ways how to add test to your test cycles first way i just told you like you uh, just click here and add test you if you click you can add test cases so this is first way second way is how to add the test in your test cycles is uh, you just open your test case and click here and then here it will be op option will be available add to test cycles so if you add here your uh, it, some version will be there if you have scheduled any version then version will come otherwise it will be empty test summary if you want to perform regression suppose i'm just writing then assign it to whom now if you have members then those name will come then then specific test you can assign to or specific cycle test cycle you can assign to specific member so add to uh, it simply you have to add like this our next way is to add the test in your test cycle is this you see just uh, click on your test cases then you have to go to go to advanced search so this is some advanced search will be there so if you click here you will be seeing so many options here you can add or execute your test test cycle test cases so add to test cycles 
you can add to your test cycles whether it is version 1 version 2 unscheduled then you can add it here v1 if you have want to add it to new folder regression or you can create new folder as smoke you can add it to directly from here you can create new folder and you can add it to your new folder and choose the value assignee will be or anybody and you can add like this or you can do i am doing it previously only So you can add so uh, see here smoke test case folder has been created and even in that case one test case in that test cycle one test case is also added so like this you can do one more way is there you just go to test case and then go to advanced search then only these options will will appear then uh, click on here three dots and execute in this execute window execute ad hoc ad hoc means it will go it you will execute it ad hoc ad hoc way and uh, directly result will appear or second option is add it to existing or new test cycle and then execute first you will add and then you will execute so here i am adding version we have not selected so unscheduled v1 test folder either regression or smoke so adding to smoke and then execute so first it will go to add to your smoke test cycle and then it will execution will window will get open so this is also another way so this is one way how to execute this test cases we will see in our next lecture so so this is it for today if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel we post videos on every tuesday and friday if you have any queries or if you have any suggestions please comment down us or you can email us so happy testing bye bye